It's week 55 of Xur, so I want to give you guys his location, his inventory, and what I recommend for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as I did say, it is week 55 of Xur, and Xur is located at the Traveler in the hangar, somewhere around here. So let's find out what he has this week. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for October, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Xur! What's up, dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. The Weapon of the Week is the Sweet Business. Then we have the Hollow Fire Heart for Titans. The Winner's Guile for Warlocks, as well as the Aeon Swift for those wonderful hunters out there. We are going to go ahead and start with the Weapon of the Week first. So, the Sweet Business is an exotic auto rifle. In terms of perk on, this is Payday, which large mag, increased hip fire accuracy. Now, if you guys don't have this, it's pretty good in PvE and PvP. Um, it's actually annoying in PvP, so I'm probably going to give it a uh, tier 2.5 in PvP, but definitely a tier 2 in PvE. Next is the Hollow Fire Heart. Uh, the intrinsic perk on this is Sunfire Furnace, which solar abilities regen faster, even faster if super is charged. Now this is definitely a great exotic for your Sunbreaker, so definitely go ahead and grab this. I'm probably going to rate this a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Now, also, we have uh, Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle, uh, yeah, and then as well as Unflinching Sniper Aim. And this also comes with uh, Scout Rifle Reserves and uh, Special Ammo Finder. Next is the Winner's Guile, and in terms of perk on this is Warlord Sigil, which melee kills increased melee damage. This also comes with Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, the Winner's Guile is okay in exotic. It's not top tier. It's just a good exotic just to mess around with. Um, so I'm probably going to rate this probably a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP, but probably a eh, 2.5 definite for PvE. Next exotic is the Aeon Swift, and the intrinsic perk on this is Aeon Energy, which dodging grants energy to nearby Aeon uh, cultists. Jesus. <laughs> Apologize. Uh, then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, uh, Shotgun Scavenger, as well as Heavy Ammo Finder. Now, Aeon Swift isn't really good at all nobody liked aeon swift when it first came out they got it and then they put it in their vault aeon swift is an okay exotic but definitely not top tier nor let alone even mid tier so this thing's actually definitely going to get a tier four in pve as well as pvp i mean i see what bundy was trying to do with the whole aeon um exotics but it definitely wasn't working out so then we have your consumables. If you do not have a file sword, go ahead and grab one. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram. Mind you, this will not give you Forsaken Exotics just yet. Bungie still hasn't actually told us when that's going to happen, but as of this video, does not give you Forsaken Exotics still. So, real quick, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of news on this wonderful bow on my back. Uh, for those who don't know, it is the Wish Ender, and it does take an exotic quest to actually do it. However, the Wish Ender will only be available for a week, and then it'll be available again three weeks later. So, if you do not have the Wish Ender now, there's plenty of videos online to actually find out how to go ahead and get this. However, if you do not have it right now, by the time reset comes, this coming reset, which will be the first reset of October 2018, then you're going to have to wait three weeks in order to get it. However, that is actually a good thing because then uh, you should be light level or power level high enough to actually get it. Uh, perks on this are Queen's Wrath, uh, High Tension String, Anti uh, Taken Fletching, as well as uh, Broad Head. Now, 
using this thing with the oath keeper is amazing i love it and if you guys definitely get the oath keeper keep it for your bows it's it's huge it really is it's definitely good with the bows and wow <laughs> And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.